Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first installment of Eating with the Champ. Um, here we're going to talk about easy and practical ways to make and prepare food, and then we're also going to talk about reasons why I do the things that I do. I hope you enjoy. So I just came in from a long day of work, 12 to 14 hours. It's a lot of physical activity. I'm sweating all day, so I need a quick meal that I can prepare um, to nourish my body. So I have something here that's extremely well balanced. Um, and I'm going to show you the simple ingredients and things that you need for this. Okay, so right here we got citrus juicer. We have some Kerrygold butter, real butter by the way. We have some bird's eye steamed fresh veggies that we're going to take out of the bag and boil. We have some wild Atlantic cod, okay, organic lemon, um, some Himalayan salt, some applewood smoked salt, and uh, that's all you really need. Okay, so now what I've done is I've filled this quart pot and this uh, pan right here with water. Ideally, you want to use some distilled or spring bought from the store, but if you don't have access to that, then you could just fill it up with some filtered water from home. All right, now, so we're going to prep the water that we're going to boil the fish and the veggies in. So I'm going to chop this lemon in half here. Okay, so now we're going to add the lemon juice that we just squeezed to the pan that we're going to boil the fish in, okay? And we're going to only pour half of it because I'm going to use the other half for the final part of the dish. Um, I like to use a light strainer here uh, just to catch the seeds and pulp. So now we're going to add some Himalayan salt to the water just for some flavor. So I usually put a couple pinches in there. Let those boil, um, and it's all just to your liking. You know, you want to make it. I like them tender, um, not completely mushy, with a, a slight crunch still left. Okay, and then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna open up the fish. So I've been running this under some warm water just to get the plastic to uh, to come off the fish and make it easy so that it slides out. Now we're gonna put that in the boiling lemon salt water that we've created for the fish. It's gonna make the fish super clean. It's gonna taste really good. It's gonna smell good. And you're also gonna notice that the water is gonna bubble up. So anything that is impure, um, low integrity in the fish is gonna be boiled off and so it's gonna be easy to clean up after. All right, so yeah, I just uh, cut that fish open so my hands are really fishy and like I said, um, it's going to make them smell really good. I'm just going to use the lemon to uh, clean my hands. And uh, then I'll be able to handle the rest of the utensils and preparation. So then, I also, after I clean my hands with the lemon, I actually put this in the sink because I, I uh, you know, I put the fish water and the juice in there so it'll kind of get fishy and the lemon will uh, get rid of that smell. All right, so now I'm just going to turn the fish um, and then put a lot of water in there. So I just want to make sure it cooks on all sides. Um, and it really didn't thaw out completely. I actually put it in there, it was kind of semi-frozen, but that water is going to make it um, cook all the way through. And I'll also poke some holes in it with a fork later on to make sure it cooks all the way through. But um, what ends up happening is, is people, they'll, they'll try and thaw their fish out during the day and sometimes they forget about it or they lose track of time or they just don't have enough time to cook it. Um, and in, in this situation, you could just really just pull it out of the freezer and throw it in the boiling water at all times and you never have to wait for it to thaw. Okay. Okay. That's pretty much all the preparation that you're actually doing. So I'm really just waiting till this boils all the way through. Um, I stay by the stove, I check it. Sometimes the, the fish is thick, so sometimes it takes a little bit longer to boil through. Sometimes it's thinner, so it just depends. And then I'm gonna wait till the water for the veggies starts to bring to a boil so that they cook and get tender as well. So now I'm just going to check to see if it's cooked all the way through. So I just come in here. Normally if it's cooked all the way through, it's nice and tender. So right now it's a little tough still in the middle. So that means it uh, still needs about, say, three to five minutes left. So now I'm going to check the fish one more time. And so what I'm looking for is that uh, it's really tender right now. 
So I should be able to easily poke that knife through. It should easily pull apart, which was happening now. Um, it's ready. Probably like 30 seconds I'm going to be pulling out. And now, so when you're looking at the water, you can notice that there is um, some froth and some white uh, stuff coming out in the water. And, and that's just the pieces of the fish that don't belong in the meat. So the, the most integral part of the meat, the, the high integrity protein, stays together. It's very visible. Um, but the boiling process purifies it. And that's what you're going to get in the water. So now it's, what's easy for me is to be able to take that fish out. It's super clean. It's been boiled in the lemon and the salt. And um, as much toxicity out of the fish as possible. And now I'm just going to bowl it. So I just took uh, the fish out of the boiling water. I also uh, shake the fish off a little bit in the water so that I get anything that shouldn't be on the fish out into the water. I put it in the bowl here. I'm going to use that rest of the lemon juice that I had saved earlier from the other lemon. And um, we're going to pour that over the fish. We're using the strainer to uh, keep the seeds and the pulp out. If you like the pulp, that's your choice. You can keep it in if you'd like. Okay. And then we're going to use copious amounts of Kerrygold butter. All right. And this is the fat aspect of the meal. Okay. So you have your fish. There's your protein. You have your veggies. There's your carbohydrate. Where's your fat? So a lot of people omit this. And they really, really need it because if not, your nervous system, your brain, your hormones are all made of fat. So those things suffer if you don't add real butter to the product. And you see me, I eat a lot of butter. Dude, I'm not that, I'm thin. Okay, so fat makes you thin, actually. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna strain the veggies. Then we're gonna put the veggies over top that awesome lemon butter and over the fish. That butter's gonna melt all the way through. Bam. And then finally, we're gonna to top it off with some applewood smoked salt. Your flavor. And we're ready to eat. All right, so now we're finally finished with the cooking process and I just wanna show you how easy it is to clean up, especially when you boil a meal. So normally when you pan fry something, you got stuff that's stuck to the pan. Um, you're gonna to have to scrub it with, you know, your scrub brush, a lot of soap. This is super simple. It's been boiled all of the, um, the excess is inside the pan, so we're just going to dump that into the sink. Alright, start the cooking process. Got a little soap, bam, got a little brush. And as you can see, didn't take very much work. Pan's already clean. And that's another awesome reason why we boil. Straight up! <laughs> So if you saw anything on the video today that you were interested in, it can be purchased through The Mark of a Champion. So please contact me at themarkofachampion at gmail.com or call my phone number. I always answer. Thanks for watching. All right, and we're putting the lemon juice in the water because lemon, um... What's the lemon do, Mark? Bro, What's it do? It fucking cleans the fish! Let's go! <laughs>